Yo, stop your grinning and drop your linen because it's time for Bruce Leroy's junk shop is open and today I'm going to show you a uh, uh, 220 volt or 240 volt whichever you prefer a uh, ball door 5 horsepower motor in, induction motor and uh, these things are great because they're really simple well made very tough very heavy duty uh, it is a true induction motor there are no brushes to these things if you look down in here you've got about eight holes going all the way through there so you know it's a true uh, squirrel cage type induction motor and you can tell in these holes it's laminated all the way down through there to uh, cut down on all those Eddie Van Halen currents and um, what else was I going to say so yeah these things have no brushes just contacts on one side and I'm going to make another clip about that how to do some maintenance repair and tune up um, this one turns counterclockwise I believe um, and I don't really know how to re reverse these things I don't have to on didn't need to on this one just uh, working on it for a friend but it does have I can't focus it says right here in order to reverse it uh, standard rotation says it's counterclockwise the only thing will leads that reverse are the eight and the number f and the five leads everything else that's it you just swap the the number eight lead and the number five lead so going back to my uh, drum switch reversing which as you can see I know I'm behind but you would just put that number eight and number five on these center terminals and then probably the easiest best way to do it would be just bring one hot in here and one wire would have to be a little longer and come in here and that would probably work but uh, be careful when you try it um, you can bring the other the, the, that number eight and five lead in on this side and it'd be easy to hook this one but a little harder to get this one so just need to be a little longer but I believe that's about it I'm gonna do a few other things to this I'm gonna sand this good so that the pulley will go on well and probably uh, you probably want to put some grease on yours too to help get the pulley on and make sure it doesn't rust on there but uh, I believe that's about all I was gonna say um, oh yeah I've got one I've got an ancient one that's a lot older than this now this one I think probably just needs some new roller bearings that we may replace those but the contacts are on the side where the shaft doesn't stick out and it's got this switch back here I don't know how this works maybe somebody could tell me explain to me I, I'm assuming it has a start and run windings and that has is some sort of, sort of uh, like a centrifugal type switch but anyway I've got I'll show you my real old one on this air compressor that I hardly ever use and uh, we'll see if I can get some arcing out of it on the end because I've never done any maintenance to it so let's see what happens here it's hard to see what in the world I can't see anything okay maybe we can get some watch this